So now I'm gonna increase the ISO on my camera because if I don't, what ends up happening is she gets brighter and the background just goes away. Beautiful, one, two, three. Fantastic. So what I'm doing is now blending and balancing my light. Hi guys, my name is Jason Lanier. I'm here with Emily Ronaldo. Hi guys. We have a beautiful model that we're shooting today named? Kristen. Hi Kristen. Hi. Do you want to tell them where to find you on Instagram? At Tipsy Taco. We are here shooting today in an abandoned pool at North Georgia Technical College as a part of a GPPA event for PhotoWorks. They've had us out here and we're here with a group. We're doing the demonstration portion. We're gonna demo this for the group. We are, they're helping with the setup, the lights, everything, so they can understand how to do it. And then they get to shoot on their own so they can master their own lighting as well. Uh, we are shooting her in a beautiful vintage gown. This is from a store in Augusta named Vintage Uli. We're gonna do a shoot today. We have the Rotolite Eos inside of a seven foot parabolic with a, uh, with a diffusion panel on the, on the outside. We've got a scrim gym, uh, not to be con uh, <laughs> confused with a slim gym. So we're gonna be balancing light back. This is Brad. Uh, he, is, uh, he is one of, who, one of the directors of the GPPA. We can't thank you enough, Brad. Yeah, no, thank you guys for coming out. Yeah, it's been amazing. We've had a fantastic time. And if you're, if you're in Georgia, you should look up the GPPA. All right, just stand there looking all prim and proper. Access your inner uh, lady from the uh, Victorian age, fantastic. One, two, three. That's beautiful, Kristen, absolutely beautiful. Are you able, to, I don't know the answer to this, are you able to crouch in that? All right, and now what I'm going to do is, I'm actually gonna turn the flash down and I'm gonna pull the, the overall brightness of the light down. So right now it's at 45%. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's getting even darker. The clouds are coming in outside. So I'm bringing in more um, light. So now I'm gonna increase the ISO on my camera because if I don't, what ends up happening is she gets brighter and the background just goes away. So what I'm doing is now blending and balancing my light. Okay guys, let's bring that reflector in and see if we can bounce some light into her now. We're gonna give her some fill light with that scrim. Perfect, just like that. Turn, look, look over, look at the parasol for me. Beautiful. Tilt your head this way for me, Kristen. Tilt, beautiful, just like that. One. Two, three. Eyes to me. That's gorgeous. One, two, three. And we're gonna uh, play with the walls and some of the texture in the walls. So we're gonna have you go over to this ladder. Thank you, John. All right. You need to, to become part of that ladder. There you go, now bring your head this way for me. There you go, beautiful, that's fantastic. Look up to the light, beautiful. One, two, three. Fantastic. You see the patience, I, I'll have her keep the same pose and I'll have her look at me, look at the light, keep the hands, the legs, everything the same. Again, very methodical approach to posing and shooting, not machine gun, you know what I mean? So now that I have the spotlight over there, now I can come right here, and this is one, way, one reason I love this form of lighting, is I have great lighting from a number of different angles, okay? So one, two, three. Tilt your head the other way. Beautiful, ooh, that's, that's stunning, don't move. One, two, three. That is gorgeous. You're doing amazing, Kristen. What we're gonna do now is I wanna try something. Let's bring the scrim gym. We're gonna bring it down below and cast light up into her. We're gonna utilize some of the light 
from this. We're gonna hold the scrim here. We can actually balance it on the leg of the light stand. Basically what you do in portrait lighting when you bring it underneath. All right, we're gonna swing this sucker around. Perfect. Ooh. Right? <laughs> you see that lighting? Yeah. <laughs> That's outrageous. That just got crazy soft. It's crazy soft. This is like on camera frequency separation. When I say you need to practice, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I've done for years. Just get a light, I go out, and I'll practice for hours. It's much more important for me to get one phenomenal shot here than, oh my gosh, I got a shot in the bathroom, I got a shot in the chair, I got a shot in the water, I got it. I'd rather get one shot that people will remember me for versus a bunch of just junk shots. The other great thing about lighting like this is what it does is it creates a scenario where um, even the shadows, see if your question's about flash, if I'm shooting flash in here and I have hard walls that I'm shooting against, and even worse, I have a ladder, this ladder is gonna catch a shadow. I'm getting very soft shadows, so this isn't just lighting for my subject, this is lighting for my entire environment. Again, this is how Hollywood lights. Are you able to crouch down again? Mm -hmm. Perfect. One, two, three. That's beautiful, don't move. Bring that elbow down towards your chest. Beautiful, I love that, there you go. You're doing awesome, Kristen, seriously. It cannot be easy to do all this in, inside of uh, this crazy place. Oh, you wanna climb the ladder? I feel like that looks cool. It does look cool, you ready to climb it? Let's climb it. We're set up for it right now. Beautiful, Kristen. One, two, three. Lean this way for me. Bring, bring your body more into the center and then turn. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Beautiful. Bring your head this way. Don't move. One, two, three. That's gorgeous. Those are fantastic, Kristen. You're doing amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What did you learn about lighting? You have to change it every time you do it. And look at what you're doing to make sure it's correct. Yeah. In every situation. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can eyeball it. Absolutely. That's very true. And that is something you can do with LED lighting, is you can eyeball it a lot more than worrying about a meter. So it definitely pays its dividends. And Terry's looking at me like he wants to give me my third kiss. So, <laughs> so these images here were taken with the Rotolite Neo 2 uh, with an Octavox on it, uh, also with the Canon EOS R. Uh, the camera did a great job. It really does well. Mirrorless cameras really do great with LED lighting. I hope you guys enjoyed this, enjoyed watching us blend and balance light. Just remember, in order for you to make this work, you have to match the power of your artificial lighting to the ambient lighting that is in your surroundings. This is something that some people struggle with and I'm trying to help people out there understand it because once you understand this you can light like Hollywood and get some amazing results. If you guys are interested in any of these Rotolite products there's a sale going on right now you can go to rotolite.com slash Jason offers and get some amazing deals on these lights. Again, that's rotolite.com slash Jason offers. Go get some. Thank you for running around and doing an amazing job. Thank you. That was a hearty handshake. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss Kristen, for being our lovely model. You did a wonderful job. Now that you've seen what I did, I want you to go and do some of this on your own. Miss Emily and I will be here to critique your images and help you out, and that's what we want to do. Um, and and for, thank you to those at home for watching. Thank you to PPA. Thank you to Vintage Uli. Thank you to GPPA and Vintage Uli. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you to you folks at home for watching. Don't forget to click on subscribe and notifications so you can be updated every time we release a brand new video. Uh, you can find her at Tipsy Taco with two Y's. You can find Miss Emily where? Um, on Instagram at mexplores, that's em explores. And you can find me at Jason Lanier Photography. Pretty simple. So until next time, y'all keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Find the right gear that works for you. And remember, this time I shot with a Canon EOS R. <laughs> with the 2870 and the 51.2. And that means what? It means you killed it.
That's true. It also means <laughs> it also means you only have one chance to get it right. Oh. We'll talk to, the lie. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Bye. All right, guys. Let's get get you guys set up and shooting. Oh. Hey, you guys still there? Hello. Talking to you. Really, you're still there? That's awesome, guys, thanks. If you wanna continue this learning online, go to patreon.com slash Photography, and you can learn alongside me. You can watch my screens, you can edit with me, do all of it from anywhere in the world on any computer, guys. It's the best way to learn if you can't make it to a workshop. If you're crazy and you wanna see me in person and you're ready for it, then go to www.jasonlanier.com slash register. You can find a workshop near you and we will have an absolute blast together. It's about inspiration, it's about photography, it's about life, and it's about finding the passion in all of them. So again, guys, if you wanna learn online, if you can't make it to a, something in person, patreon.com slash jasonlanierphotography. And if you wanna learn in person, jasonlanier.com slash register. Now, the last time I did this, let me see. I'll just do it with my finger this time. <laughs> I love doing that. It just pisses off the pros. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.